Welcome to the Daily Mass from St. Mary's Parish in Barrie for Friday, April the 3rd, Friday in the fifth week in Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In this month, we remember the soul of Rita Raisin. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In distress, Jeremiah raised his voice to the Lord. O Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed. You have overpowered me, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all day long. Everyone mocks me, for I hear many whispering, terror is all around. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, you test the righteous You see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retribution upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evildoers. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The Lord is my shield and the source of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so I shall be saved from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The cords of death encompass me. The torrents of perdition assail me. The cords of Sheol entangled me. 
the snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To you, my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. The Jews took up stones to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which one of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy. Because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are God's. If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, Believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest Jesus again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing earlier, and he remained there. Many came to Jesus, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Father is in me, and I am in the Father. The unity of God is declared by Jesus in this, in this passage from John's Gospel. This mutual indwelling of the Father and the Son, and that love between the Father and the Son is what we understand the Holy Spirit to be. Years ago, my dad traveled to Ireland. I've never been to Ireland, been to lots of places, but never been <clears throat> to Ireland. My dad had the opportunity on that tour to see the Book of Kells, a, a famous Christian uh, illumination, an ancient illumination in the Book of Kells. And there are in that book uh, intricate lines that draw, uh, in, show the interconnection, plays on uh, plants and animals and people and planets, all interconnected by these magnificent lines. Our participation in the unity of God comes from our baptism. And I go back again to that first Sunday in Lent, that we who are uh, preparing to renew our baptismal promises, our elect who are preparing for baptism, we are immersed in baptism into the life of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are united to God in baptism 
and confirmation, and in the Eucharist, even when we cannot receive communion, we are still united to God in this mystery celebrated on this, our altar, God's altar. The indwelling, the unity of God here in our midst. Blessed are your Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. To the mysteries of water and wine to come to share the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your, at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we with angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the no. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, Say, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Bring them and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple of announcements that we will uh, be endeavoring today to send out an email as, to as many people as we can, as many people as we have an email address for. And uh, that will talk about our schedule for Holy Week, including Palm Sunday through to Easter Sunday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Now bow your head for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.